Team TV, Victor here with Celebrated Victories, giving you guys another video. And right now, what I'm about to do, I'm gonna show you guys how I install my ATMs. All right, so I got this restaurant that we're gonna get an ATM in. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys step by step. So let's go. So uh, do you typically move an ATM machine by yourself? Do you ever need help? Yeah, definitely. For me, personally, I usually do it by myself. Um, obviously, if you have help, it's a lot easier. It's definitely something that's doable if you just do it on your own. I'll show you that. With, I'll show you what it looks like right now. How much like one of these machines weigh, then? I think this one weighs about 200 pounds. What I do is, do is I just slide it out slowly. This, let the bottom hit, and then from there I just come up to the top, and that's it. Have my dolly here. Cool. Slide it under. How much do one of those trolleys running you for? The dolly? Yeah. 20, 30 bucks. Oh, yeah. that's not bad. No, not no. And you've had that same one since you started? Yeah, I probably had. No, not the same one. I had another one, but this one's a lot better. Gotcha. Um, so I like this one better, but I've probably moved 10 ATMs on this one alone. Sounds you good. Know? So yeah, it works pretty well. So for a location like this, man, how do you determine where to put the machine? Is it just you or where the owner tells you to? Yeah, I think it's a combination of both. So um, I'll suggest where I think is best. Usually you want to put it somewhere where everyone can kind of see it. Definitely want it to be somewhere that's visible. And then at the same time, you just want to be aware of like where it's at as far as like windows and doors and you know, just in case you ever have an incident where someone's trying to rob it. You know, you don't want it at the, exactly the easiest place to, you know, rob it. Right? All right, so the first thing that I normally do is uh, when I'm gonna set it up and install it and bolt it down, is I put it in the general area of where I'm gonna install it at. Then I'll just slide it exactly in the same exact spot where it's gonna be sitting. So it's gonna be sitting right here, all right? And the reason why I wanna put it there initially is because I wanna mark on the floor where I'm gonna put my bolts. And that's what I'm gonna show you guys right now. Open this up. So once you get to the location, man, how long does it take you to usually install? Uh, usually about 45 minutes, you know, if it's smooth, you know, no issues, 45 minutes. Sometimes it may take a little bit longer, depending if I'm having issues with drilling it into the ground or something like that. Um, but mostly not too long. So here we're like at a restaurant, man. Do you typically have uh, any difficulties or problems when there's, you know, uh, clients or stuff? No, you want to try to do it. Um, when it's least busiest, you know, but sometimes that's hard to do, especially like with the owner and, and with the time that you're trying to do it and the time you're available. Uh, but not really, you know, it's really simple. People don't really even understand what's going on and they don't really pay attention too much to see really what, what you're doing. So it doesn't really bother so anybody one way or another. Just come in, do your thing and out. Yeah, come in quick and then that's it. So there's four holes. Actually, there's more than four. There's two in each corner. Um, and that's where the anchors are gonna be one on each corner. So what do you typically need for, for you to bolt them down? What do you? Really, you're gonna have a, a hammer. I have a hammer, I have anchors. Um, you're definitely gonna need a, a socket wrench as well as like I have a pen to mark the ground where I wanna do it. And then I have my drill. I have my drill bit. Um, I have even a, just to kind of clean the debris after I do the drilling, cause you're gonna have some dust and stuff all over the floor. So I have that, just a little sweeper to sweep that up. Um, and that's pretty much most of it. Well, I'll walk you through it step by step so you guys can see exactly what it is and then we can make like a little, um, put everything down and make like a little list of everything that's needed. All right, so now you got all your tools out, bro. What do you do immediately after getting everything out? Yeah, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in just to make sure, before I bolt it down, I wanna make sure that I have good connectivity here. I wanna make sure that the internet modem is working properly. Um, I wanna make sure that people can actually do transactions because the last thing you wanna do is bolt it down and then it's not even functioning and working properly, all right?
I'm going to run into issues like this. Now I got to figure out how I'm going to get the plug in to go up there or over here in the corner. Make sure it's long enough. If not, then we just have to either get a longer extension cord or we might have to just find a different spot to put it. So how did you get this location, man? Yeah, so the owner um, of this location is the same owner that I have another ATM in. So he just opened up this one. Um, but this is an actual restaurant. The other one he has is a thrift store, clothing store. So um, he just, he likes my service and asked me to put an ATM in here. So, you know, I told him uh, we'll, fit, we'll see how it performs. And if there's something that is performing well, then we'll keep it. If not, then we'll just move it somewhere else. And that's how I got it. So how do you see this, this ATM performing at this location? Um, I think it could perform well. It isn't a cash only spot, but it does get a lot of traffic. Um, it's definitely in a really busy area, a busy street downtown. So that's a good location as far as foot traffic goes. Um, so we're just gonna have to see. You never really know until you put an ATM in here and um, just kind of hope for the best and see if it performs. If it doesn't, you know, having to move is always an option. So for this type of location, you're counting more on outside people than actual customers at the restaurant yeah just foot traffic you know there's a lot of people that come in and out here so they do take tips um so the good thing is like with cash you can get you know people that need extra cash just to get some tips they can definitely use an atm in here for that so we just have to wait and see all right so now before i bolt it down i'm just going to make sure that the internet is working properly i have the internet plugged in this is going to be the internet modem right here okay so now that that's set up and ready to go, I'm just gonna do a day total. And the day total is just gonna, it's just informational, give you some information about the ATM. I just wanna make sure that it's connecting to the host and that the ATM is working properly um, with the internet. So we're good to go there. Now we can get ready and bolt down the ATM. All right, so the first thing before I bolt down the ATM, again, I put it exactly where I want, where I want the ATM to be. And then I take a marker and I'm gonna mark the holes where the anchors should be. So I go in here with my marker and I just do this in each hole where I'm gonna place an anchor. And that way when I move the ATM, it's gonna give me a identification exactly where the anchors need to be placed. So now I'm gonna slide the ATM out from where I want it to be placed. And now you can see exactly where I need to anchor it down. So I have one hole, two holes, three holes, four holes right there. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna do the anchors. So now that I marked the holes on where I want the anchors to be, I'm gonna put some eyeglasses on, some eyewear just to protect my eyes. Some smooth glasses. Take my drill, all right, and this is where I'm gonna drill the holes where the anchors need to be. So I just use my reference point that I drew with a marker and just start drilling. All right guys, so now I have my holes in the ground. I'm gonna move my ATM back over it. And I'm gonna try to line up those holes with the holes on the ground holes inside the ATM. If you look at if you look closely, you can see the holes where I drilled them right there. And now I'm gonna take my anchors and put it in each corner. Alright. So these are gonna be the anchors that we use. Alright, they're gonna be half by two and two and a quarter. So if we open it and you want to just slide this down a little bit turn it a little bit because you don't want it all the way up like this because when you start hammering you're gonna mess up the threads so you want to have it down just a little bit and then you take it slide it into the hole like that and if you take your hammer hammer it down all right so what's next all right, so now that I got my ATM bolted down, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the antennas on top. You wanna have the antennas on top of the ATM. I'm gonna do antennas too, bro. What's so the for? antennas are gonna be for your inter internet modem. 
So what it looks like where the modem is right here, this is the modem. Okay, I have antenna, so that way you have good connection, making sure that all the transactions are able to go through. Because if you don't have any good Wi-Fi connection or service, you ain't gonna make no money. So you gotta make sure that's up. I just slide it to the top right here. And that's it. Alright, now what? Now it's the good stuff? Now, this is everyone's favorite part. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna take the cassette out, we're gonna put some cash in there, and we're gonna, you know, dispense some money and see what it looks like. going to be what's called the cassette. So the cassette is where it holds all the money in the ATM. And the cassette goes here. So if you look in the back, once the transaction is trying to run, the money gets shoot through the back and then it comes up and then it comes out of here, which then it comes out of this. And then that's how the person takes it out. So today we're going to put, we're going to put 5,000 in for today. It's 2,000 right here. Another 2,000 here. What do you put, all 20s, all 100s? Yeah, all 20s, depending on your location. Um, you could put 10s if you have your ATM set up like that. But for this ATM, this one's set up at 20s. Now I gotta tell the ATM how much money I just put in. If I don't tell the ATM that there's $5,000 in there, and when someone tries to take money out, it's not gonna work. So I have to tell the ATM that there's $5,000 inside of it. Okay. All right, so right now the bill count, it says zero. That's how many um, bills that the ATM is tracking that it has right now, but we just put 5,000 in. So with 5,000, that's going to be 100 or 200, <laughs> no, 250. All right, so now that that has 250 bills, which equates to $5,000, now the ATM is tracking that it has $5,000 in it. Now, just let it load up and then we'll take some money out and make sure it's working. So now we're going to see if it's working. We're in business. There we go. That's it. Alright guys, so if you have any questions, be sure to comment below. If you like this video, be sure to hit the subscription button and I will talk to you guys with another video. Stay up, stay blessed, and much love.